Hello friends, in the previous video we discussed about order tetrad analysis. The link is given in the description box and today we are going to discuss about unordered tetrad analysis. What is unordered tetrad? In this, the spores are randomly arranged. Ascus provides enough space so spores can move randomly. So these are unordered. Example is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. It is used to map genes in the dihybrid crosses. Dihybrid cross is a cross that involves two genes or two loci. Through this unordered tetrad analysis, we can determine if the two genes are linked or they assort independently. And if the two genes are linked, then we can determine the map distance between them. Three patterns are possible in the tetrads when the two pairs of alleles segregate. Example, if there is a cross between capital AB and small AB LL, which is a dihybrid cross, then three types of the tetrads are possible. Let us discuss them one by one. Type 1, this is the parental combination. If no crossover occur, then the product of meiosis is the same as that of the parental type or if double crossover occur between two strands then also we get the product of meiosis having the parental combination capital AB capital AB small AB small AB so if we see this figure there is double crossover taking place between these two strands so we get capital A capital B and here also small a this cross goes like this and then small b these will be same capital AB small AB so here also the product of meiosis is capital AB capital AB small AB small AB so these are same as that of the parental combination. Hence the tetrad is known as parental ditype PD in short because of the resemblance with parental combinations. Type 2 four strand double crossover occur between the two genes. Here one crossover is taking place between the this and this strand. And one is taking place between this and this strand. So it is known as a four strand double crossover. And the product which we get after meiosis is capital A, small b, small a, capital B. Here capital A, small b, small a capital B. So the products are capital A small b, capital A small b, small a capital B, small a capital B. So there are two types of the combination capital A small b and small a capital B. And none of the combination resemble as parental type capital A capital B and small a small b. So this type of the tetrad is known as non-parental die type. Type 3 when two strand single crossover or three strand double crossover takes place between the two genes or occur between the two genes it results in the third type of the tetrad. Here if we see single crossover is taking place between these two strands and the product that we get is to having the parental combination capital AB small AB capital AB small AB and two having the combination capital A small B and small A capital B S 
small a capital B and capital A small b. These are of non-parental type. If three stand double crossover takes place, here the double crossover is taking place this in between one, two and three strand. So the product of meiosis is one is capital AB. Other we get capital A small b, capital A small b. Then we get small a, it will go this way small b, small a small b and fourth is small a capital B, small a capital B. So here also we get four types of the product capital A capital B and small a small b, small a capital B capital A small b. These two are of parental type and these two are of non-parental type. We get 50% of parental type and 50% of non-parental type. This type of the tetrad is known as tetra type or in short TT because here all the four possible genotypes are present in the tetrad and hence it is known as the tetra type or TT. Now in order to determine the recombination frequency or map distance, we use this formula NPD non-parental dye type into half TT tetra type by total number of tetrads into 100. So this is all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.